This beautiful historic building will be the subject of a future vlog. But today, we're going back in time. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Cincinnati, Ohio to Union Terminal for 1940s Day. I had been to this last year, but I had not yet had my channel open, so I'm excited to show this to you. Let's take a look. Our adventure starts back there. This fountain had been turned off for years for renovation, and now it's up and running. And standing in front of Union Terminal, you get a great view of the Cincinnati skyline. In the 1940s, this was the point of departure and arrival for many military personnel. One of my favorite parts of 1940s day is seeing all the vintage cars. This is 1941 Chevrolet Special Deluxe. And this is another version of the Special Deluxe. The inside of this 1940 Chevrolet Special Deluxe Business Coupe looks a lot different than cars today. Even though it's 1940s day, they have a couple of cars from 1932. To put it in perspective, 1932 was the year Todd Browning's movie Freaks was released. For some reason, I could picture this truck in the movie A Christmas Story. And of course, we cannot forget the men and women who served in World War II. And while the men were on the front line, we can't forget the women who worked so hard in the factories. Thank you, Rosie the Riveter. This is a great 1929 Ford. Reminds you of something gangsters would ride. And it even has a fake bullet hole. This old Studebaker transported troops during World War II. I remember seeing this silver Cadillac last year. Check out the funky upholstery. You've heard me mention Powell Crosley several times in my vlogs. This is a Crosley car. This reminds me of Mr. Bean's car. If you like old cars, this is the place to be. This car comes complete with rumble seat. If you've seen my vlog on the Cincinnati Fire Museum, you might have seen this truck. And Frida Kahlo showed up today as well. We're all waiting for the flyover of World War II era airplanes. And of course, the USO has been entertaining troops and raising morale for decades. This is a picture of the first USO lounge anywhere. That lounge is now an ice cream parlor. They also have a vintage clothing store here in case you want to buy something period related. Every year they have a fashion show and so I'm waiting for that to begin.
Cuba, Mexico, Frida Kahlo. Um, the highlight of her career was in the 1940s, so she's a wonderful inspiration. My name is Michaela, and this is my favorite vintage dress I own. It's a 1940s novelty print rayon dress that I bought in San Francisco. Uh, my bracelet is actual bake light, and I love the 40s a lot, but I actually dress um, anywhere from the 20s through the 60s every single day. I pin curl set my hair every day, and it's kind of like my lifestyle. So. Thank you guys so much for coming to this year's fashion show and costume contest. The big band is still playing upstairs, so there'll be other people playing all over. Enjoy the rest of 1940s. Check out these great Charlie Harper skate decks. It seems everywhere I go, edible bugs keep following me. Cheddar cricket chips, worm snacks, and scorpion candy. Their gift shop is great. Take for example this normal looking coffee cup. You have your coffee, and you get attacked by a T-Rex. Ra, ra. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it this year better than last year. At last year's, it was held at Lunkin Airport because Union Terminal was being renovated and they had vintage aircraft. But I like this year's better because of Union Terminal, you felt like you were actually in the 40s. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And if you already subscribed, please encourage others to subscribe to my channel as well and join us on our adventures. Until next time, this is Cashew signing off. And while I was here, I met someone who looks like a young Frank Sinatra.